Welcome to the Parrot Center at Loyalist College. Discover your library at loyalistlibrary.com. Welcome to the Parrot Center's Spring Open House presentation. A version of this session was offered live on March 20th, 2021. In this video, we'll talk about the library and our services, what we do and what we can do for you, and we'll help you to discover your library beyond the books. First, we'd like you to meet your library. We're located on the Belleville campus, and as you can see, the library is pretty distinct. It's one of the most recognizable buildings at Loyalist College. Those amazing windows mean that we have a beautiful, bright space for you to work and study in. The library is a quiet space, but we do have areas for group work, as well as study rooms and computers with printer access. We also regularly take time to update the space. If you're on campus during the summer months, you'll probably see us moving shelves and desks to make the space as comfortable and functional for you as possible. As of this recording in March 2021, our building is temporarily closed due to COVID-19 but our staff are working remotely and we're continuing to provide as many of our services as possible and access to as many of our resources as possible. As far as we know, we'll be back to in-person services in September of 2021, but in case there are more COVID-related closures in our future, know that we've got systems in place to make sure that we're still available for you. One of the most common questions we get is about using the library. Do you really have to use the library or can you just Google everything you need? Google is a great tool, but there are some disadvantages to it too, especially when it comes to the kind of research you'll be expected to do for your programs, here at Loyalist or at any college or university you decide to attend. You'll need reputable, scholarly sources, and these can be hard to find online, and if you do find them, they've often been put behind a paywall. The Parrot Center has an incredible range of resources, and we take care of the bill for subscriptions and provide you with free access. So what do we do? When most people think of the library, they think about borrowing books. We do have print books to borrow, as well as print journals and DVDs. We've got content to support all of your courses and assignments, and some things to read for fun too. It's important to remember that although we've got lots of material that supports what you're doing in the classroom, we don't supply your textbooks. But we've got a great bookstore on campus with an incredible staff who are ready to help you. We recommend that you visit their website and contact them with any questions. We also provide help with research. That's something you'll be expected to do, and it's a learned skill that you need to practice but you don't have to figure it out alone. We're here to help throughout the research process, from developing your search strategy to finding and evaluating information. We don't do your work for you, but we'll teach you how to find everything you need. In the event that you need something we don't have, we can often still locate it for you using a service called Interlibrary Loan. This service allows you to borrow from other college libraries in Ontario completely free of charge. It's not immediate, it can take some time to get things, but it's a great option to find what you're looking for. One of our most popular features is our study rooms. You can book for up to two hours at a time for group or private study in an accessible room within the library. Both rooms come equipped with tables and chairs and either a blackboard or a whiteboard, and both have smart technology. One room has a computer and smartboard, and the other was recently updated with a share link system. This system lets you broadcast from your own device, your laptop, tablet, or phone, to a television screen for group viewing. The library is also home to a small number of computers that include access to both black and white and color printing. You also have the option to use wireless printing. You can connect your own device to the network and print to the Student Access Lab, which is located right across the hall from the library. When you start your classes, your instructors might tell you that they've put something on reserve in the library. This means that the item was made available for in-library use or a short-term loan to make sure that students always have access to it. Not everything you need will be available on course reserve, but it's a service that lots of instructors use and you can always ask them if they'll put something on reserve. If you're not sure if something you need is available, ask library staff and we'll help you to look for what you need. What about our resources? When we talk about library resources, we mean sources of information and those can take all sorts of forms. We've got a good sized collection of print books that you can borrow. And as a Loyalist student, you also have access to about 237,000 ebooks that you can read online or download for a preset number of days, usually 14. We have lots of resources that support what you're learning in class, but we also do our best to get some leisure reading materials in there too. Our print and electronic journals and databases are probably the resources that you'll use the most. Databases are searchable collections of information, and we've got access to more than 200 of them with all kinds of materials journal and news articles, ebooks, streaming videos, and so much more. We also have some subject-specific databases, things like the Chilton Library for Auto Repair or Interactive Human Anatomy, which allows you to explore all of the systems in the body in 3D. If you're looking into a specific program here at Loyalist and you'd like to see what kinds of resources we have, just ask. You've also got access to multiple streaming services through the library. You can access content that's related to your courses and assignments, but you also have access to lots of things that you can watch for fun. 
Library staff have created electronic research guides that highlight materials for every program offered at Loyalist. They include selected journals and databases, books and ebooks, websites, films, career resources, and more. We also have guides for topics like APA citations and student success. If you're interested in looking at the guide for your program, you can visit loyalistlibrary.com and click on Research Guides. The library can also assist you with open educational resources. OERs are new to Loyalist, but we're really excited about them. These are materials that your instructors might use, or that you can use for your assignments and projects, that are completely free and widely available. Things like TED Talks, podcasts, open journals, and even open textbooks exist. They can be a little challenging to find, but we're here to help you. And last but not least, our best resource, the library staff. When you attend college or university, you're working towards being an expert at something, whether it's as a nurse, an esthetician, a paralegal, a child and youth worker, you name it. Library staff are experts in information. We're here to help you navigate all of these services and resources so that you can get the most out of your program and be successful. If you're curious about any of our resources, or if you want to take a closer look at the library, visit our website. You can find us at loyalistlibrary.com. If you're not already a student, you won't be able to access everything, but you can take a look around and get to know us. And that's it, your quick start introduction to the library. You can watch the other videos on our channel to get to know our website and to learn more about research and finding information. If you've got questions or need extra help, get in touch with us using the contact information below.